Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm coming at you guys from a different angle, I'm trying to mess around with my phone stand here to make sure you guys get to see the typewriter. So I know there's like a bunch of videos on YouTube with this particular um, model, but um, yeah, it's new to me. We were yesterday um, at one of our antique shops, our local antique shops, and I've been coming across a lot of typewriters in my area, but most of them are, there's always something wrong with them, like either some buttons are missing or it just doesn't work or there's something jammed. So I was almost gonna give up on buying a vintage one because of that reason, because I wasn't coming across any good ones. And then those that I did see online were kind of pricey because of how much they weigh. And uh, we almost bought one just for display. It was a really nice black one. A lot older than this one this one i believe is like around between 1960 and 1965. so the other one was um way older i think it was like i don't even know because the lady that had it she said that it was an old typewriter that her husband used while he was in the military to practice on and that was considered old back then so it must must have been pretty old it was like really black it just you know it didn't have this style keyboard so anyway, so this is the one that we got. It is the SCM, SCM Smith Corona Corona Electric 12. And now I have the one with like the regular, you know, typewriting font, but I did come across a video on YouTube where the guy had a cursive one and I kept messing with mine to see if maybe there was an option to turn that in. But um, no, I think it was just his model because this one, if you pull this back, it doesn't have the stamps in cursive, so. That was a bummer but either way i'm very happy with it and i'm just going to share with you guys like a few little things that um i plan on using it for so as you guys know if you follow my instagram i have two instagrams i have one that is dedicated to my bible journaling and then i have another one that um has my crafts but now i'm switching that up to journaling journaling supplies more like a personal type of journaling. Still not sure how that's gonna go, but I wanted to have both accounts match each other. So, you know, I figured, um, you know, I would just use one to promote my shop and, you know, how I use my supplies and then the other one for my Bible journaling. So I have a lot of these little library looking cards printed. These are from Ali Scraps on on Instagram you know that's where I found her and all of her cards are just so beautiful I will definitely link her information in the description so this one's not from her but yeah so she's got these long ones and these short ones and ever since I got these little cards which was a while back this was probably one of my first purchases that I did um, when it came to printables um, uh, honestly you know she has them in themes and all that so I know I started buying them probably like two or three years ago. And ever since I bought them, I always wanted to do like that typewriter font on them. So I did it once with um, stamps and you know, that took forever. I think I just did like a really small verse, but you know, I really wanted that typewriter feel. So, you know, um, growing up in the nineties, my dad actually had one and it was like, I think it was our neighbors. I don't know how he got it or his dad, but it was an old one it was not electric this is an electric one it was not electric it was manual and it was in this big old case and it was just so bulky and really loud and um i don't know i used to have fun with it i just remember i like i used to like turning this thing just to hear the 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 bell and the ding and it was a lot of fun so i guess like i've always wanted one but you know like i said i was almost went for the we are memory keepers one but i've heard a lot of mixed reviews and Although it might be a good machine, I just wanted a vintage authentic one. So um, yeah, so this is what I went with. So let me type up something on these cards because that's what I've been wanting to do. I did a little one yesterday, but um, I was still trying to get the hang of it. So it didn't really come out that cute. So let's do light blue. I'll, I'm also going to be using uh, my printables from Faith Heirlooms. I'm in their design team and, you know, we get our printables um, every beginning of the month. So this month we have the bows, which I'll insert right here. A 
Okay, so those bows are what we're going to be releasing tomorrow, Monday. And um, I want to use them on these cards. So I'm first going to type up my um, my wording, what I want to put on here. And then, um, you know, we'll go from there. So use insert them, you know, upside down so it rolls, you know, up from the front. And um, the way that you get that ding sound is when you... When you set your margins so that's like the fun part you know so i'm just gonna roll it in here lift these up oops lift this up and start right there so i'm gonna set my margins now so it starts from here and ends from right here and then i'm just gonna turn it on and then set this oh Hold it from back here and it goes kind of crazy so just kind of hold it right there i still want it to be a little lower so this should be this right here should be good okay so i've set up my machine there's tons of videos out there that show you how to set up your machine so you get your your spaces you know the the line spaces um you know how to use the caps how to set how to change the ribbon um, my ribbon came with the black and white. I had to buy a new ribbon, obviously. So like the ribbon I got is the black and white ribbon. So I get my black font and then I have the white for the white out. And you can backspace and like twice and it takes away whatever letter you put there, which is pretty cool. So let's get started. Okay, right when I was going to begin, um, we were ready for dinner. So I'm back now. And okay, so I went through my printable. And again, this is the printable I'm working with in the suggested verse. One of them is Psalms 119.11. So I'm going to pick up a verse, well, that verse from um, there. So I'm just going to type it here. And then hopefully I have you guys at a good angle. This is like not how the angle I usually do for my videos. So I do apologize if it's hard to see. Um, but I'm trying my best here. Let me see if there's a way maybe doing it. No. I'll just leave it like that because I want you guys to see the the keyboard as well. Okay. All right, let's begin. Ooh, okay. Just a second. My ring light like bounced when I did that. So let me adjust that. Okay, I left off on I have the space. I have hidden and oh all right so I'm getting close to the margin so finish that and then did that I also want to put the date so let's come up right here am I in frame I hope I'm in frame okay so I'm gonna come up right here and then okay so I could put my date right there so it's right here okay, am I going too far all right so I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna put 
going to put Feb. So I'm just going to abbreviate it. Feb dot. So today's the seventh Super Bowl Sunday, and I'm over here typing because I don't know what Super Bowl Sunday is. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, okay, so yep all right and then let's see what else can i write over here uh, let's see let's see let's see i think i'm gonna leave it like that i might add like a sticker and stuff when i decorate it okay so now that i've done that part um i'm wondering if maybe i should put my own thoughts about the verse down here because the card is pretty small so I think I've probably reached the, the end so let me just do this quickly mm, let me do like a fun little design to kind of show oh the little stars we'll do the little stars okay so I have hidden your oh my gosh can you guys see that I I accidentally put word weird on my heart <laughs> look can you guys see this let me try to zoom in it says weird weird in my heart okay wow my machine does come with a wide out so let's use it I just don't know if um, it'll type like right on there so all right <laughs> let me zoom out now so you guys can see what I'm doing all right, so over here I have the switch to go from black to red, but I have white, so you know. So I think I just have to press set. And as I'm holding it, I can press the letter I, and it's just gonna white out the I. Yeah, you see? All right. And then clear, and then go back to, ooh, that's my first time that's ever happened. So let me fix that. Okay. Hopefully I'm okay. And then I'm gonna put the O. Oh. Yeah, I like totally messed this part up now because I did my O right on the R. It's alright. This is only my first one. So let's try it now on this letter right here. hit the no okay I don't know how to do I think I have to catch it like at the moment so it stays like yeah so just go back to black and just ride um, in my heart so all right I try to I tried my best to fix it you know I'm open for mistakes because then it looks more more real <laughs> yeah okay so let's type here I'm just gonna type my thoughts on what I read and then I will be back with you guys and um, this is more I don't know that I feel like this went from like a typewriting video to like a Bible drilling video so that's okay with me if you guys don't mind so I'm just gonna write my little thoughts on it because my page is pretty small so I have hidden I have hidden your word in my heart and I might not say it again so I'm Here's how I finished it. So because of the, you know, because it's in there, it will roll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it now, um, you know, backwards. And then kind of give it a roll on the opposite side. 
there you go went back to being straight so now i'm just going to cut up my stickers um if you were here just for the typewriting um you know like demo then the video ends here but i do want to continue with the um bible journaling part of it so you guys want to see that you can stick around um and if you were just here for the typing demo then thanks so much for clicking and hanging out with me um you know i had a good time you know putting this together so i'm gonna turn this off and just continue with the bible journaling part of this turned out I'm so happy with this typewriter and so now I'm just gonna take some cute little photos and put it on my Instagram and I'm filming this on Sunday so by the time you guys see this video um, um the set most likely is already available so if you want to pick this set up and a few other ones that have been coming out this month um, you can find their Instagram, I mean their shop on the description below and since I am a part of their of their um, team, um, I am provided with the 15% off coupon that anybody can use and it is Noemi15. Yeah, it's Noemi15 and it's going to be on there and yeah, so this was a fun video of something a little different. Um, I know most of my videos lately have been unboxing, unboxing, unboxing. So, um, yeah, was, uh, I'm ready to use my stuff. So, um, yeah, I'll be back with another video. And, oh, just before I go, I'm going to add this one to my compact Bible, the little tiny one. This one right here. So, fits perfectly. So, let's look for the verse. So this was Psalms. So this one has New Testament and in the back you have Psalms and Proverbs. And uh, this size is also available in their shop. And I believe they have them on sale. So you might wanna look for that. So it's gonna tuck in there and that's it. So thanks for watching. And you know, I had such a great time you know, using this typewriter finally. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.